All right, guys, so last week I posted a video about the potential timing chain issues on the N63 and the S63 engines, and uh, I had a few people contacting me to know what chain I use on these projects and also what timing tool I would recommend if, you, if you're tackling this job yourself. So let's make a quick video. I want to explain you a couple of things about the timing chain I use and the timing tool, uh, the timing tool kits that I bought from eBay, so you can save a little bit of money as well. Now, first the timing chain. If you are rebuilding your engine, uh, make sure you're buying all new chain guides and tensioners. And uh, I also recommend buying the lower sprocket, which is the crankshaft sprockets, and uh, the lower guide as well, the one that sits right behind the main seal. They are made of plastic, they crack and they tend to fail. So it's probably about $42 for the sprocket and about $40 for the guides. It's, uh, it's a good idea to replacing those. Now, the timing chain that I used was actually a kit from Fabi Bustang, and uh, the kit number or the part number for Fabi is 36320, and uh, is actually this box right in front of me. You do have to buy two of these because each one of these kits is for individual banks, so you're going to buy one of these for bank one, which is cylinder one to four, and one of these to bank two, which is cylinder five to eight. Uh, inside of this kit, you're going to find the timing chain itself. Obviously, this is a used one because I've already done my engine uh, a good couple of months ago, and uh, this is the old one. So inside of this kit, you're going to have the chain. It does come with these guides because it's screwed together. That's like it's just the, the way that they make. So that's going to be the timing chain, the main guides. You're going to have the side guides as well. Uh, this kit is going to come with the tensioner, the hydraulic tensioner, uh, and it's going to come with the top flow. A few people say that this is a top rail, top guide, or top tensioner. Now, this is not really guiding the chain anywhere, it's just pressing the chain a little bit uh, in between the two sprockets. So I call it a tensioner. I don't know, this is a tensioner too. I'll say this is a hydraulic tensioner, this is just a tensioner, or we can call it the guide if you want. Uh, but I want to make very clear that this kit does not come with the lower sprocket, which is the crankshaft sprockets, and it does not come out also with the lower chain guides, which is this one on the screen. So these are the two things that you're going to buy separately. But otherwise, I bought two of these kits, and uh, this is what I use to rebuild my engine. Now, yes, I searched online, and I was very tempted to buy one of those uh, eBay kits, and uh, they were listed for like a third of the price that you would buy for a BMW once. But honestly, I just didn't have the balls to do it. It's a, it's a timing chain kit. That's one of the most crucial parts of your engine. And uh, I, I didn't have the courage to save $600, five, $600 and just go with the cheap one. Now, if you have used one of those in your engine, please write in the comments below. I would love to know your, your, your experience and uh, also how many miles you put on the car since your, your rebuilds. Uh, but yeah, as I say, for the $500 difference, uh, I'd rather just go with the OEM and uh, not have to worry about that, ha have the peace of mind knowing that they would last for a long time. Wait, but you just say going OEM, you mentioned that you got fab abuse and how you say that you're gonna have OEM and uh, have the peace of mind. Well. This is where things get pretty interesting. So, if you guys don't know, BMW doesn't actually manufacture parts. Uh, they outsource a different company to make parts for them and they sell as BMW branded. This is the case for this kit right in front of us. So, uh, if you don't believe me, I'm gonna put this proof on your screen. And this is a comparison between the new tensioner and the old one. And if we carefully zoom in, wait, what's going on? Where's the part number gone? Well, it's being scratched off because obviously I bought this kit as a Fabi Buston kit, not as a genuine BMW one. So BMW wouldn't let them sell BMW parts. So for that reason, it comes out of the same manufacturing uh, plant or factory or whatever it is. Uh, but Fabi has to scratch the part numbers and the BMW logos off in order to be able to sell them. Because again, they sell it as a Fabi Buston, not as a genuine BMW part. So, here is another one on the guides, and you can clearly see that the BMW part number and the BMW logo has been scratched off because, again, it's a fabulous thing. 
Now, let's talk about the price difference between them. So, the kit that I found from eBay, it was $300 and you would also get the lower sprocket and uh, the, uh, the oil pump chain and the sprockets. As I mentioned, I just didn't want to go that route. Uh, we had the Fabibusen and I bought uh, the two kits, was, I think it was $267 each, so it came up at about $535 for two of these Fabibusen kits. And for the OEM, the, the BMW one, you couldn't actually get a kit, so you had to buy all the parts individually. And uh, that one was coming up to about 800 US dollars for all the parts, but again, not, 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 not counting on this and the little guides. Uh, so, yeah, it's a considerable difference. So I ended up saving almost $300 in between buying the Fabi Bustin or going with the genuine one. And that's the reason why I went Fabi Bustin. Now, as for fitting the chain to the engine, you do need a specific timing tool, which will basically lock the crankshafts and the camshafts at the certain position, and uh, will synchronize the top and the bottom side of the engine. Uh, a few people say that you can do it without the tool, but I definitely don't, don't recommend. So if you ask, do you really need the tool? Yes, you do need the tool, because uh, the Venus sprockets are actually held in place by torque and they don't have any indentation or, or, or anything that hold them together. It's literally just one bolt and torque and uh, it's very easy for them to move as you torque in the bolts. So I would definitely recommend that you buy the proper tool and you do the, the timing procedure correctly because uh, you can save yourself a bit of a headache because of $80, which is... Actually, not even $80. I paid $60 for these kits, and uh, I'm going to tell you what's inside that is so important, in my opinion. Now, if I... Let's just open these up. If I open this up, uh, and I'm going to show you guys, there's uh, not really much in here. You've got the two tabs that will hold your cams in place. Uh, you have the top rail which will bolt on the top of this and will we'll lock the two locks in place. Uh, you obviously have the crankshaft lock. This thing is going to go on your crankshafts uh, pulley and these be... Oh no, sorry, this 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 is the one. This is to torque the main bolt. This is the lock too. So this is going to go on your crankshafts and this thing is going to slide in in order to lock the crankshafts on the proper position. Uh, and once you have this installed and these locked on the proper position, you're going to come with what I think is one of the most important tools on these cheap kits. Because, again, I pay 60 bucks for this, but you can find them on eBay for as cheap as, I think, $30. But they don't come with these uh, guys here. And this is your manual chain tensioner. Why this is so important? Well, these are very important because the, the Venus units are torqued to 30 Nm plus 90 degrees of rotation. And uh, this is a, 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 a quite good amount of force. When, you, when you're actually torquing that main bolt, and I'm going to put a photo on the, on the screen so you can see it. Uh, if you don't have the manual tensioner, this, this goes in and lock, pretty much locks uh, these chain guides. As opposed to the hydraulic one, so this is the stock one. Most people say that oh, you can actually put this one up when you're doing the timing, and you can't. You, you can, but you could, you could really go wrong with that because this is hydraulic, so it does have a spring inside, but you can compress it, so the spring is not that, that heavy. Uh, being hydraulic, this actually works with the oil pressure from when your engine is working. And the reason why you need this manual tensioner is because once you bolt this in and you set the correct tension, when you torque the Venus uh, unit's bolts, which is this one on the screen, you're not gonna, you're gonna ensure that they not move. So see, as you're torquing the bolts, the sprocket tends to rotate because again, your camshafts are locked, but not your sprocket, your sprockets. So the sprocket relies on the chain tension in order not to move. And if you have the hydraulic tension, tensioner instead of the manual tensioner, your sprocket could move and get the engine out of timing. So that means when you remove the timing tools and everything goes back to, uh, to, to, to the place, the chain goes back to the place they should be, uh, it's going to rotate the cam and your engine is going to be out of timing. So 
just trust me, it's worthwhile paying $20 or $30 more for the cheap kit instead of buying the $40 one, just buy the $60 one or $70. I don't know how much they are costing nowadays, but do ensure that you have the manual tensioner with it and uh, that way you're going to be able to go. Now, just with the kit, another thing that you're going to be careful is uh, check the size of your camshaft slots, okay? This is going to slide on the camshafts and make sure that the camshafts are locked. But I haven't yet done an N63 TU and I heard that apparently some of them have a different size of slot. So this one from memory, uh, both intake and exhaust camshafts are 20 millimeters. So I bought the kit for the 20 millimeters camshafts. But do make sure that you measure up your cams to make sure that you are buying the same, uh, the proper kits. This is the difference between the cheap ones and the more expensive ones though, because on some of the more expensive ones, you have adjustable sizing for the cam. So you can buy one kit and using different engines, but at the end of the day, if you're doing this as a hobby and uh, you just bought this to work on your engine, you don't need to spend seven, eight hundred dollars on expensive kits as opposed to eighty dollars. Uh, uh, as much as I like this thing and it worked properly for me, I doubt I'm going to be using this in uh, anywhere in the near future. So yeah, it was worthwhile for me just paying the 60 bucks and uh, using. So most importantly, I've actually done this review last year, so I've put about three and a half thousand kilometers on the car so far, which means that it's working fine. And that should be it for today, guys. Now, hold on, hold on, just before you go. If you think this video was helpful, uh, please help the channel in a way that doesn't cost you anything. How is that? Well, just hit the like button below and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. So that would definitely help us grow and bring more BMW related content for you. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.